The American Heart Association and American Stroke Association's Distinguished Scientist Awards recognize a select group of scientists who have made significant and lasting contributions to cardiovascular and stroke research. This year, we honor six people who were visionaries and giants in their fields. The 2012 Distinguished Scientist honorees are Dr. Donald M. Burrs. Dr. Burrs is the Joseph Silva Endowed Chair for Cardiovascular Research Distinguished Professor and Chair of the Department of Pharmacology at the University of California at Davis. He has always led an active research group and taught extensively in multiple programs. Dr. Burrs is a world-renowned expert on the cellular and molecular factors that regulate heart excitation and contraction. His research has advanced the scientific understanding of cardiac myocyte dynamics with innovative experimental techniques, an emphasis on quantitative measurements, and a unique ability to synthesize experimental results from many levels of biology into an integrated picture of heart function. Dr. Burr's innovative and highly active research has resulted in his authorship of more than 350 scientific papers, book chapters, and review articles. His enthusiasm and high standard of scholarship remain undiminished after more than 30 years of groundbreaking research. He has held leadership positions for the International Society for Heart Research, Biophysical Society, American Heart Association, Heart Failure Society of America, American Physiology Society, and the Association of Chairs of Departments of Physiology. Dr. Jerry Folks. Dr. Folks has conducted extensive research on the epidemiology of peripheral artery disease and use of diagnostic tests in clinical practice. In 1987, he set up the population-based Edinburgh Artery Study. In 1990, he established the Wolfson Unit for Prevention of Peripheral Vascular Diseases. This unit conducted the MRC Edinburgh Claudication Study and with Charing Cross Hospital in London, the MRC Multicenter UK Small Aneurysm Trial. In 2004, he set up the International Ankle Brachial Index Collaboration to investigate the ABI in prevention of cardiovascular disease. His efforts culminated with the 2009 PAD Coalition Population Research Prize. He has been a member of numerous international task forces, guideline development groups, and scientific bodies in the vascular field, epidemiology, and public health. Dr. Folks was awarded an NHS a distinction in 2003 for his contributions to vascular medicine and public health in the National Health Service in Scotland. Recently, Dr. Folks was appointed Emeritus Professor of Epidemiology in the University of Edinburgh. This enables him to concentrate on international aspects of his research, including the ABI collaboration and the Global Burden of Diseases program. Dr. Charles B. Higgins. Dr. Higgins' early research focused on compensatory mechanisms and cardiovascular reflexes in response to heart failure and a variety of cardiovascular lesions. From 1976 until 1984, he demonstrated the potential for contrast-enhanced computed tomography to identify and quantify the size of acute myocardial infarction. These studies were the first to identify delayed contrast enhancement of myocardial infarction and establish the cellular basis for this phenomenon. Nearly 30 years after this seminal research, Cardiovascular CT has become widely applied in the evaluation of ischemic heart disease. Since 1984, his primary research has explored the use of magnetic resonance in cardiovascular disease and the development of clinical and research application in acquired and congenital heart disease. Over the years, more than 100 clinical and research fellows around the world have participated in research and clinical training in cardiovascular MRI under his supervision. He has given more than 80 named lectureships and holds honorary memberships in medical societies worldwide. He has received the Distinguished Achievement Award of the AHA, Outstanding Researcher Award of RSNA, and the gold medal from the Society of Cardiovascular Magnetic Resonance. Dr. Sharon Lees Normand. 
Dr. Norman is a professor of health care policy in the Department of Health Care Policy at Harvard Medical School and professor in the Department of Biostatistics at the Harvard School of Public Health. Her research focuses on the development of statistical methods for health services and outcomes research, primarily using Bayesian approaches such as causal inference, provider profiling, item response theory, latent variables analyses, multiple informants analyses, and evaluation of medical devices in randomized and non-randomized settings. She serves on several task forces for the American Heart Association and the American College of Cardiology, and has served on the U.S. Food and Drug Administration's Circulatory System Devices Advisory Panel. She is a member of the Medicare Evidence Development and Coverage Advisory Committee and is director of MassDAC, a data coordinating center that monitors the quality of adult cardiac surgeries and coronary interventions in Massachusetts acute care hospitals. She is past president of the Eastern North American region of the International Biometric Society and is vice chair of the Patient-Centered Outcomes Research Institute's Methodology Committee. In 2011, Dr. Normand was awarded the American Statistical Association Health Policy Statistics Section's Long-Term Excellence Award. Dr. Dan M. Roden. Dr. Roden is a clinical pharmacologist and cardiologist, professor of medicine and pharmacology, and assistant vice chancellor for personalized medicine at Vanderbilt University School of Medicine. His research focuses on mechanisms underlying variability in response to drug therapy. His major interest has been the relationship between mutations and polymorphisms in ion channel and other genes, and susceptibility to arrhythmias, including drug-related arrhythmias. A few of his laboratory's accomplishments include defining the functional consequences of sodium channel deletion in zebrafish, developing methods to establish function of non-coding variants in ion channel and other genes, exploiting a new method to rapidly generate mice with variant cardiac sodium channels, and studies of structure function relations of wild type and variant ion channels. Dr. Roden directs the Pharmacogenomics of Arrhythmia Therapy Program, part of the NIH Pharmacogenetics Research Network. The site studies drugs used to treat cardiac arrhythmias and tests the hypothesis that the effect of certain drugs to unexpectedly provoke potentially fatal arrhythmias includes a genetic component. Dr. Roden has received the Young Investigator Award from the American Society of Clinical Pharmacology and Therapeutics and the Distinguished Scientist Award from the Heart Rhythm Society. He was elected to membership in the American Society for Clinical Investigation. Dr. Warren M. Zapol. Dr. Zapol is the Emeritus Anesthetist-in-Chief at Massachusetts General Hospital and the Reginald Jenny Professor of Anesthesia at Harvard Medical School. He is also the Director of the Anesthesia Center for Critical Care Research at Massachusetts General. Supported by the NHLBI, Dr. Zapol's research includes studies of extracorporeal membrane oxygenation, acute respiratory distress syndrome, and cardiopulmonary physiology in animals and humans. He has led nine Antarctic expeditions to study the diving mechanisms and adaptations of the Waddell seal. That research revealed how marine mammals avoid the bends and hypoxia during prolonged free diving. In 2003, he was awarded the Intellectual Property Owners Association's Inventor of the Year Award for the treatment of hypoxic human newborns with inhaled nitric oxide, a technique now used to save the lives of over 10,000 babies each year in the United States. In 2006, a steep mountain glacier in Antarctica was named for Dr. Zapol by the United States Board on Geographic Names. In 2008, he was appointed by President George W. Bush and reappointed by President Barack Obama in 2012 as an academic representative to the U.S. Arctic Research Commission. Hello, I'm Rosemarie Robertson. Scientists like these, working at the leading edge of cardiovascular and stroke research, are the driving force behind our mission to build healthier lives, free of cardiovascular diseases and stroke. 
I'd like to personally congratulate these outstanding individuals as they receive the American Heart Association and American Stroke Association's highest science honor. If you'd like to learn more about the Distinguished Scientist Award, please visit my.americanheart.org.